I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
taken care of the damage. That, that's correct. Uh, I think there are basically two avenues, and I think we've almost completely exhausted the insurance avenue. Um, we're still looking into that. But, um, and that would be the most, if, if there is insurance coverage, that would probably be the best and most expedient way to deal with it. The other options to get on the list, brownfield list, and uh, look to get a brownfield grant to cover the cost. Right now, uh, Kathy Reynolds has applied for a brand, brownfield grant through the stimulus. So hopefully we have some success there. Is that correct, Kathy? Yes, that is correct. You know, we have the results on page 12. That's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Is there, I didn't see anything about what it takes to do the stuff. Well, we, have to go through. we were able to delineate or determine the extent of contamination uh, in the soil pretty much to the west, south, and to the east. But we stepped back, I believe, twice to the north and still didn't get out of the soil contamination, although it was, was de decreasing in, in concentration as we went that direction. I looked at it today. It looks to me like there's probably between two and 3,000 tons of contaminated soil there that would have to be removed. What about the tanks themselves? The tanks also would have to be removed. We found at least two gasoline tanks. The mayor was correct that they were gasoline, not diesel fuel. Uh, they both contain gasoline still to this day. Uh, there's another structure there that may be a waste oil tank or it may be a sewer clean out. We weren't able to determine what that was. But the tank removal and decommissioning, <coughs> going in, cleaning the tanks and re removing them would probably be between fifteen and twenty-five thousand dollars to do that portion of the work. Um, since the site's vacant, probably the most direct route to cleaning of the soil contamination would be removing it and hauling it to a has or to a landfill such as Decatur Hills. And Two to three thousand tons, you figure somewhere between sixty to seventy-five dollars a ton by the time you excavate the soil, transport it to the landfill, replace clean fill into the excavation. So somewhere between one hundred and fifty and two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, probably to remove the soil contamination and remove the uh, clean and remove the tank. Now that still leaves <coughs> the groundwater contamination there. Hopefully it would clean up pretty quickly once the source, which is the massive amount of soil contamination that's there, once that soil contamination is gone. That doesn't include the fill back to the surface level. No, it would that that would. That that fifty to sixty to seventy five dollars a ton would include disposal, would be excavation, transportation, disposal of, of the contaminated soil and then buying the backfill and placing and compacting it. And by your probes, you pretty well know how far out it goes? In every direction but to the north. We, we were able to well, step back and get out. I'm sorry? That's towards the alley there. The north. Well, toward, yeah, toward, the, toward Main Street. Yeah. And what do you do in a situation like that that's still contaminated under the alley? We have quite a ways to go before we get to there. I, I doubt that it gets that far. I mean, we're, you know, we're probably only halfway between the south, between the railroad on the south and that north street at this point. So I would suspect we'd get out of it before we got the alley way. But you'd have to deal with it either by some other means, probably the next invasion. So, so David, you're their total estimate. I mean, it's just an estimate. That's always right. Mean, to anything, approximate cost. You think? Again, to, to deal with the soil contamination in the tank, somewhere between one hundred and fifty and two hundred fifty thousand um, dollars. But that will not address the groundwater contamination. And what would have to be done there? Once the soil was removed. Uh, at the time of the soil removal, if there was a cavity, if, if water flows into the cavity, it's and that's 
person contaminated with gas and we 